Give me that in 1 Corinthians real quick. So I'm going to give you a commandment, bro. All right? Because you love God, right? You understand that we got to follow him, right? We got to do what he say. So I'm going to give you a simple commandment, bro. We want to see if you're going to keep it. Watch this. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So the head of every man is Christ. You agree with that? That our Lord and Savior is Jesus the Christ, the black Messiah. That's who's coming back to save us. A black man, not no damn white boy. The head of Christ is every Messiah. No, the head of man. The head of man. Our head is Jesus Christ. That's who we supposed to follow, right? I heard you say that earlier that we should follow Christ, right? Follow his footsteps, right? So that's our head. He's the example that we look forward to, right? Read. And the head of the woman is the man. You agree with that? That we're supposed to lead our women. Do you agree with that? Or you think it's supposed to be 50-50? I thought, well, what, what I was born to believe is that women came from our real. Exactly. Exactly. So, so, so who's supposed to be the leaders? The men. Exactly. Exactly. So the Bible just said the same thing, right? So you agree with what the scriptures say, right? Exactly. Read. And the head of Christ is God. And the head of Christ is God the Father. Right? The head of Jesus Christ is God the Father. You agree with that too, bro? The only way you can make it to the Father is through Jesus. Exactly, exactly. Read. Every man. So every man is talking to us now, right, bro? Talking to me and you. It's talking to me and you, bro. You understand? Every man what? Praying or prophesying. Every man praying or prophesying, okay? When you pray or you're prophesying like we are doing, or you're in the midst of prophecy, what must you do to honor the head of every man, Jesus the Christ? Read. Having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. So if you have your head covered while the Bible is being taught, you are dishonoring Jesus Christ. So what should you do to honor Jesus Christ right now? Do you have your head covered? Praise his name. Do you have your head covered? With a hat. Yes, yes. It, listen, this is an easy commandment. All you got to do is do what? Take the hat off. To honor Jesus Christ, all you got to do is take the hat off right now while the Bible being read. That ain't hard. That's what I'm talking about, bro. That's simple, ain't it, man? That's simple. Stuff like that right there will get us back to where we're supposed to be. Just little things like that. It ain't hard. Watch this. I'm going to show you. I'm prove it to you. Give me 1 John chapter 5, verse 3. It ain't hard to follow God. It ain't hard to keep his commandments. They taught us that it was to keep us in sin. All right? Read what you got. 1 John chapter 5 and verse 3. For this is the love of God, uh -huh. that we keep his commandments. Uh -huh. And his commandments are not grievous. You see that? God said his commandments ain't grievous. They're not hard to do. And that's the way that you love God. By keeping his commandments. And it ain't hard. What's that hard, bro? You didn't have to fight your hand, did you? You didn't say, no. You didn't do that. You just took the hat off. <laughs> it was simple, wasn't it, bro? Damn, I, damn, bro. <laughs> <laughs> 
You know what I'm talking about? This a brother that love God. You a brother that love God, because you wouldn't even be here. You understand? I see you love God, bro. But it's time for our people to wake up. Give me Joel 3 real quick. Joel 3 and verse 9. Give me that real quick. Watch this, bro. Watch this. Then I'm going to show y'all something. I'm going to show you how God feel about you after this. Watch this. Read what you got. Joel chapter 3 and verse 9. Uh -huh. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. So we out here proclaiming the Bible, the word of God amongst the Gentiles, amongst everybody. White folks ride by, Chinese folks ride by, African people ride by. Guess what? We're proclaiming this amongst the Gentiles. Read. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. It's war time out here. It's time for the mighty men on this earth to wake up. You are a mighty man, it's time to wake up. You are a mighty man, it's time to wake up. You understand? Read. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. The Bible says for you to draw near. You got to draw near unto God. You are a mighty man that has to draw near unto God. It's time, brothers. It's time. Time is short. You see what's going on out here? Look at the gas prices. Look at the war that's going on overseas. It's time now. You go in the grocery store, shelves are empty. Am I right or wrong? Right. Everything is high nowadays. You understand? It's hard to live. It's time to wake up. Mighty man, wake up. You've been sleeping too long. We've been sleeping too long. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. It's time for us to stand up and lead our communities. Stop standing in the background. Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. God says that you are holy. You are holy, bro. You separate. Ain't nobody on earth like you. He didn't create no other nation like us. Read. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people. And he said you special. You understand? You special. You better than everything else on the planet. The only reason that the sun shines in the sky is because you are here. Ain't no sun shining on the moon, is it? Why? Because you don't live there. Because you don't live there. You live here on earth. And the only reason all these other nations exist is because you are here. He created them to serve you, just like he created everything else on this earth to serve you. The sun is created to serve you, the so-called black man and the black man only. You understand? Read. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. God said that his people, the so-called blacks, Native Americans, Hispanics, you are chosen to be above everybody on the face of this earth. Did you know that? Did you know that? Did you know that you chosen to be above everybody on the face of this earth? You supposed to rule the whole world. Everything that you go in and buy is already yours. But guess what? Because of sin, we got to go and pay for stuff that's already ours. That's a shame, bro. It's time for us to wake up and get it right. Excuse, excuse, that was my fault. Yes, sir, go ahead. They, they say a dumb question is no question. Go ahead, bro. If it's already out, uh -huh. what if we just go in there and take it? No, we can't do that. Yeah, God, that, yeah, that could be, God, that could be considered a wrong. Because that's sin as well. You understand what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, you can't God gave that. us the way to get it back, right? Remember, yeah, I just showed you. I just showed you. If we just don't buy and sell yeah. on the Sabbath day, Guess what? Because guess what? What we used to do on the Lord's Sabbath day? Friday night, where we go? Club. <laughs> what happens to a lot of our people at the club, bro? What happened? Murder. Murder, right? Now, somebody's... Uh, exactly. That's a lot of money right there. Listen to what you're saying. I want, I'm going to bring it to life. Okay, listen. We go to the club. We got to pay to get in there, right? So we plan to keep paying to keep that business open, right? Okay. Then somebody gets into it. Somebody gets murdered, right? Now, is it money and death? Is it money and death? Well, some, didn't they just have to pay for that funeral that was over there? That funeral was expensive. Right or wrong? Who getting that bread? Who it go back to? Huh? I, I guess the, city. the white man got to gotta proclaim you to be dead. They got to give you a death certificate. You understand? Right. All of it's going to generate back to them at the end of the day. 
You understand? I don't care if you go to a black funeral home director. Guess what? It's all going to generate back to them to keep their kingdom thriving. To keep them on top of you. Okay? Now, what happens to the brother that, that murdered the brother? Or the sister that murdered the sister? What happens to them? What, who owned the penitentiary? White man. That's a multi-billion dollar corporation. You understand? But if we are not there in those clubs, what happens to those places? Exactly. Exactly. What happens to the penitentiary? Exactly. We ain't got to go in there and take nothing or steal nothing. All we got to do is just like you just did, take the hat off. Keep the commandments. That's it. We got to do the easy, simplest thing that we ain't never tried to do. We try everything else but obeying God. We obey the white man, right? White man tell you eat pork, it's the, it's the, it's the uh, other white meat, guess what? You go and buy you some pork. White man tell you that red lobster is a delicacy, guess what you do on your anniversary and birthday? Red lobster. All because of his advertising, right? We believe, we believe for years that this man right here was Jesus Christ with no proof. No evidence. Okay. Yeah. All your life you were taught that you were African American, you were black, you were Negroes, with no proof. We ain't got to go and take it. You got to understand something, bro. You got to keep the commandments. When Christ come back, guess what? All is going to be ours. All is going to be ours. And them too. <laughs> Read what you got. Psalms chapter 94, verse 16. Uh -huh. Who will rise up for me against the evildoer? The Bible says, who going to rise up for him against the evildoers? You ready to rise up for the Lord against the evildoers? You ready to go out there and tell your people the truth? Huh, sis? Where you going, sis? Sis, where you going? Hold up, sis. Don't leave yet. Don't leave yet, sis. You ready to rise up for God, sis? You ready to do what the Lord say? Hey, you know it ain't going to be sweet. It ain't going to be pretty. I can tell you that right now. No, sis. No, sis. How you defeated the devil and you still working for him? Sis, sis. How you defeat the devil when you got the devil in your hand? That cigarette ain't defeating the devil. Huh? Sis, how do you get stronger? No, I'm going to show you your strength. Give me 2 Samuel right quick. I'm going to show you your strength. Watch this, sis. 2 Samuel chapter 22 and verse 33. Watch where your strength is. You say you got to get stronger, right? Watch this. 2 Samuel chapter 22 and verse 33. 2 Samuel chapter 22 and verse 33. God is my strength. Who is her strength? God is my strength. God is your strength, sis. The commandments of God, that's your strength. That's what's going to make you stronger. Read. God is my strength and power. God is your strength and your power. You understand? But guess what? As long as you're doing that right there, God ain't going to deal with you. Give me Isaiah 59 verse 1 real quick. Watch this. I'm going to show you what that's going to do between, what's, what that's going to do with your relationship with God. Watch this. Isaiah 59 and verse 1. Read what you got. Isaiah chapter 59 and verse 1. Uh -huh. Behold, the Lord's hand is not short. That it cannot save. God's hand ain't short that he can't save you, sis. You understand? That he can't save you from the condition that you in. That he can't pull you out of there. But guess what? Neither his ear heavy that he cannot hear. He said his, his ears ain't heavy that he can't hear. But what's happening? What's stopping God from pulling you out? What's stopping God from hearing you when you pray? Read. But your, e but, but your iniquity. But your sin, your sin, have separated between you and your God. Sin is separating you from God, sis. Sin is separating you from your God. How do you repent? How do you repent? Give me that in Ezekiel 14 and verse 6. How do you repent, sis? Is it that you say, God, forgive me? What do you do? Huh? No, watch this. Watch this. Ezekiel chapter 14 and verse 6. Therefore, say unto the house of Israel, Thus saith the Lord God, Repent and turn yourselves from your idols and turn away your face 
from all your abominations. You see that? God says to turn away. You got to turn away from your sin, sis. That's an idol to you. You understand? You feel like you got to have that, don't you? You feel like you cannot live without it. That has become an idol to you. That is your God. God says repent and turn away from it. You got to leave it alone. That's repentance, sis. You understand? Give me some rock 17. So rock 17 and 24 real quick. Watch this. Hold on. I got some more for you. I got some more for you. Because you got to understand how, how great you are. You great, sis. You understand? But guess what? That right there is keeping us low. That right there is keeping you low. I don't get rid of one guy. Read. So rock 17, 24. So rock chapter 17, verse 24. But unto them that repent, he granted them return and confronted those that failed in patience. Return unto the Lord and forsake thy sin. That's what you gotta do, sis. You gotta forsake your sin. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.